Tragically, in the winter of 2007 and 2008, there was a tremendous die-off of Gario here on the Chumbal River. More than a hundred animals died within a very short period of time. We didn't know what was happening. And the government of India reacted and said, well, we need research, we need to find out what's going on. And the only way we can unravel the secrets of Gario, find out why something so tragic happened, is to get right into their lives, into their private lives, by using radio telemetry. Well, in order to l really learn um, the date, what the animals are doing day to day, we really have to track individual animals. And the best way to do that is to use small radios, which we attach to the animals at the base of the tail. And uh, it allows us to tell where an individual animal is. Each radio has its own signature, its own frequency. And so we can actually follow individual animals. Uh, we have to catch them, first of all, and Gariel, unlike most other crocodilians, uh, can't be uh, baited. You can't get them to come into traps. You have to actually net them. So we are using uh, local people who are skilled in netting. When we actually catch the animal in the net, we usually secure its mouth, we band it. So these animals are really powerful, and so they, they present some real challenges in terms of handling, and they're also big. The radio is actually attached by threading some fishing line just below the scutes. And actually during the whole process, the animals are very docile. They tend not to thrash around. And then once we get them near the water and remove the band, they almost seem like they're coming alive, like they've almost been asleep. And, and usually they make a da mad dash through the water and disappear underwater. But we have them tagged so we can follow them. Those individual animals really tell us what the whole population is doing. We found uh, animals based on the last five years of study here that uh, are actually moving 100 plus kilometers every season so the gharials move down during the monsoon and you know, the adults anyway and and they move back uh, upstream uh, to the same areas year year after year and so there so one animal is using a big stretch of river which is potentially really important because uh, if you're going to keep that animal in the system it has to have that whole river so that it can move up and down the behaviors that we're finding out thanks to using radio telemetry are, are we're revealing secrets of the gharial that we just never imagined before. There are behaviors, for example, of male gharials looking after creches of a thousand babies at a time and keeping everybody else away, including other gharial, in order to protect them. This is the kind of thing that we didn't imagine before. These are behaviors that have been uh, shown and, and demonstrated so beautifully in primates, in elephants, other animals. But uh, we're suddenly realizing that uh, crocodilians, and especially the gharial, have fantastically complex behaviors of their own and an intelligence we had not revealed before. Gharials are very specialized fish eaters, so they pose very little threat to, to, to humans. And they're living with humans in this environment, in the, in the Chambo. Every day people are coming down to the water and... and, and Gharials really don't represent the sort of threat that saltwater crocodiles, for instance, represent. Um, this is probably the, the last place where gharials are, are actually living in, a, in a, a free, open river, a dynamic river. So it's extremely important that, that the system stay intact uh, in order to maintain not only the natural world, but also the people living in the natural world.